Now, back to the first recipe. This is my sweet chili beef roast. It's a slow cooker recipe. I love, love, love my slow cooker, my new BFF. If you can get dinner in the slow cooker, take five minutes. This doesn't even take five minutes. This takes two and a half minutes. You can throw this in the slow cooker two and a half minutes, you know, get up a couple minutes earlier, get it in there before you walk out the door. It does its thing all day long while you're out doing yours. You come home, the house smells amazing. And not only is dinner done, but then you can get a couple different dinners out of it, turn this recipe into other things for later in the week. And that's one of the other things I love, love, love about this recipe. Okay. Now, I went to festival and picked up a nice big boneless arm chuck roast. Uh, you want a big one. This is a four to five pounder. Why you want a big one? Well, one, I want leftovers out of this. Leftovers are a good thing in my book. And then remember, this is something that's going to cook low and slow and really shrinks down. And if you've ever had that happen where you made a big roast and there was barely enough to feed the family, that's not a good thing. So uh, start with a nice big roast. You'll be glad you did. So we picked up a, a really beautiful chuck roast. And then you just take this big guy, and if it's too big, Oh, yes. How could I forget? Anne's giving me the evil eye over there. Uh, one of the other things that we love are slow cooker bags. Um, these, is it in here? Yes. Um, these are amazing. Basically, you, uh, you know, line your slow cooker with one of these bags, and then you have nothing to clean up, which is even better. So if you've not heard about these, now you have, and you need to check them out. They rock. You just find them in, like, near the foil and the saran wrap and that area that aisle of the grocery store, and you just basically take your liner and throw it in a crock pot, and uh, then not only do you have dinner when it's all done, you have no dishes. <laughs> and that is a really good thing in my book. Okay, so we've got our beautiful four to five pound chuck roasts. Sometimes, um, if they're a little big, feel free to just cut it in half to get it in there. Thank you. Don't want to cook that in there. And now, I told you this was easy. This is so easy. Once my roast is in there, I'm just going to dump away one envelope of dry onion soup mix. This is something that I learned from my grandmother. This has so much great flavor in it. And I use it in a lot of different recipes. Uh, it's great for meatloaf, meatballs. Uh, so, you know, it's just got a great onion flavor. It saves you from having to cut up an onion again in the morning. That's something you might not want to hassle with. So you just open a packet of one of these and, you know, head out the door and, and do your thing. Also, um, my kids don't do big chunks of onion. So this is a great way. And, and Anne doesn't either. She's my big kid over here. Uh, so this is a great way to get that onion flavor in there without having to hassle with an onion or having big chunks of onion in here. So the beef roast, a nice big four to five pounder, uh, one envelope of onion soup mix. This is the fun part about this recipe. We've got a can, or in this case, a bottle of cola. And this is going to sweeten it up. And don't worry, it, it's not going to taste anything like this. It's just going to give it some, it's going to cook down with that meat and that onion flavor and just give it a great caramelization. And my last ingredient, one bottle of chili sauce. And you find this near the ketchup. It's basically like kicked up ketchup. It's just got some more flavor with it. Uh, you know, uh, it's great. It's got basically garlic and uh, tomato paste and vinegar. It's just got a little more flavor than ketchup. I use it sometimes. I'll use it to make cocktail sauce with a little horseradish. So this is my sweet chili beef roast. It doesn't get easier than this. Like I say, put the lid on it. Out you go to do your thing. This is the big roast. It's going to take eight to ten hours to, you know, get tenders all get out. And that's the beautiful part about this cut of beef. It needs that time to braise and cook low and slow. So on low in your slow cooker, and then come back with me. This is what Levi was smelling this morning, and actually I was dreaming about it all night long while it was cooking. It just makes the most wonderful gravy, and it is just fork tender. And so you just kind of use a couple of forks and shred it apart. I'm going to actually do it in a bowl. And then what you can do is the first night, what I'll do is I'll serve it that way. 
basically I'll serve it just as is with pick up some twice baked potatoes or make mashed potatoes, uh, maybe a salad. So the first night we'll have it as a roast. And then later in the week, I'm going to show you a couple different things that you can do with it. I'm going to make barbecue beef sandwiches with it and then um, burritos. So just I remove it, get rid of any fat, but this is really pretty lean and it just shreds apart so, so easily. I promise you this one is a winner. It's absolutely fantastic. Your family will love it. Recipes on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods.